Persons living with disability are now calling on the government to amend the current 10% deposit to 3 to 5% in order to enable them to own the government's affordable houses so as to accommodate people with low income. This came about as the Joint Committee holds its 10, its 10 public participation hearings. Moiga William reports. The post office. Monday, the Joint Committee crisscrossing the country on a mission to collect views on the housing levy conducted the 10th session. And at this time, setting camp at the country's capital, residents among them persons with disabilities submitted their views to the committee, chaired by Molo Member of Parliament Kimani Kuria, calling on the legislators to amend the 10% initial deposit. This, the group says, will accommodate a majority of Kenyans. Katika uh, deposit 10%, CPWDs to Kempewa, three to five percent it means that when you attack one two percent three percent ni mwenye yako na ile nyumba ya rumu moja umechoka kuitua watoto wa nini wa slamu tunaitua kitongoji duni mtaa wa mabanda wa kibera yaani hizo ndio majina zetu hakuna jina zetu tunataka sahi kubadilishi wa majina the committee also picked views from other stakeholders such as the Law Society of Kenya, which called on the legislators to be guided by the 2010 constitution with the proposed laws anchored to the constitution to avoid legal suits. Clause 5, only the employer has an obligation, which means the ultimate effect is for people who are not employed, this levy is voluntary. For people who are employed, unfortunately, this levy is mandatory. Also in the views presented to the Joint Committee, issues to do with employment and provision of decent homes to allow income earners dominated a majority of the group's submissions with a shared belief that the project will be beneficial to Kenyans if the proposed laws will be well stipulated. We have created more jobs. The last uh, presentation I said, if this housing project is taken maturely by the parliamentarians because the burden is on you, if you take it very seriously, it will create a massive job, job for the people. Tunataka hii mradi ende true, ndiyo ata si mimi watoto wangu wale watabaki nyuma wama wajuku wa rithi. The public hearing have been held in 19 counties across the country will continue where the joint committee expected to meet more stakeholders in the housing sector. Mwagi William, TV 47.